Hello and welcome to the short podcast where I'm going to show you how to make QR or quick response codes which you can add to your sessions to make them more interactive and hopefully to engage your learners. You can create QR codes which your students can then scan with their mobile devices such as iPhones or iPads to lead them straight to websites, files or text instructions, YouTube clips, sounds and pictures and even to a map location. So if you'd like to have a go at making QR codes follow these easy step-by-step -step instructions to get started. First of all, you need to go to a QR code generator website. One of the easiest to use is qrstuff.com, but there are lots of others. Just Google QR generator and choose the site offering free QR codes. So here we are on the home page of the QR Stuff website. This website is free to use for the features we are going to be looking at today. Step 1 is to choose what data type you would like your QR code to link to when it is scanned. This could be a website, a YouTube video, a Google Maps location, a file that you've saved on Dropbox or even a piece of plain text. I'm going to go ahead and choose to create a QR code that will link to a website URL. Step 2 is to click in the box underneath content and type in the URL you would like to link to. So in this case I'm going to link to www.bbc.co.uk. Next I'm going to select dynamic under the encoding options. In step 3 you can change the foreground colour of your QR code. So by default they're going to come out as black, but if you'd like to change the colour you can click in the colour box and change it. As you can see it's changing on the right there. Basically you can choose any colour that you would like. So now your QR code is ready, you need to click on download QR code which is just underneath the picture of the code there. So click on that and it will download the code onto your computer. So once your QR code is downloaded, it's ready to use. So I'm going to go ahead with this one and copy it so that I can paste it into a Word document. But you could also save it to your computer. So I'm going to select it and copy it. I'm going to go and open up Word and then paste this QR code straight into a blank Word document. So I could then, for example, print that out or copy and paste it into a handout. So once you've got your QR codes ready, your students will need a QR scanner on their mobile devices. They then scan the code and it will take them straight to the website that you linked the code to. So in this case, it's taking it straight to the BBC's website. So something else you might like to try is to link a QR code to a piece of text. So to do that, in the data type, you just move down and select plain text. As soon as you choose that, it will open up the text box for you and you can type straight in there any text that you'd like or you can prepare your text in advance like I've done here, just copy and paste it in so that you can see there's my piece of text that I want to link to the QR code. So I'm going to go ahead and choose dynamic again um, because that makes slightly simpler QR codes. I could change the colour but I'm going to leave it as black and then when I'm ready I'm going to download the QR code. So there's my new QR code generated. I'm going to copy that and again paste it into a Word document so that it's ready for use in anything that I want to use it for. So this time, when I scan the QR code with the QR scanner, it will come up with the piece of text that we saw typed in earlier. And there it is, my QR code links to my piece of text. So all you need to do is to get your students to download a free QR reader onto their smartphone or iPad. And they can do that by going to the Apple App Store or by going to the Android App Stores. Um, download a free QR reader. There's lots to choose from. 
and then they're ready to go to start scanning your QR codes. If you'd like some ideas about how you can use QR codes within your lessons, please take a look at one of our other videos and thank you for watching.